on the Voice America Variety Channel. For more information about our network and to check our additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericavariety.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Everything beautiful begins on the inside and radiates out, whether it's our personal beauty or that of our business and branding. Welcome to Beautiful Brands Inside and Out with host Bonnie Bonadeo. In our show, we help you find the success that you deserve by challenging you to take an outside and inside look at your branding and business. Now, here's your host, Bonnie Bonadeo. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Beautiful Brands Inside and Out. You know, I say that static is your enemy and you have to find that brand frequency in order for your company, business, product to grow. And that's what we're talking about today, and that's what we're going to be talking about into the future, is really focusing on brands that have done it well. And they have something unique that they're offering uh, based on not just their product or their company, but who they are as an individual in order to bring that brand to life. And that really goes uh, and reflects on my guest today, uh, who is Chris Kolajenski. Did I say that right? I it's always Kolo- feel like I miss a syllable in <laughs> there, Chris. That's an impossible last name. It's Kolajeski, but thank you, Bonnie. Kolajeski, yes, there perfect. Uh, from Chella, um, and Chella is a beauty, beauty brand, and you're going to hear all about Chella today, and you're going to hear all about Chris as well today, because you know what we say? We say that the person behind the brand has to have some brand presence in it. Um, because today in this day and age, and, and if you're, especially if you're gearing your product or your company towards a younger generation, they aren't doing business with big box companies. They're doing business with people they know and people they trust. And so they want to know what you're about and what your brand is about and how your brand is a contribution to the greater good of society instead of just being a consumer based product that they're buying um, and replacing. So we're excited to have Chris here. I'm going to do, Chris, I'm going to do a little bit more formality on you. Sure. Um, we've been promoting Chris saying that he, uh, you know, how do you go from pro bo- football player to, you know, cosmetic mogul, and he's going to share that story with us. But, you know, Chris started out as a graduate from the University of Wyoming, and he got a bachelor in science degree in finance. So we add another element to your story that you got a degree in finance and you still ended up in football and you still ended up as a cosmetic mogul. Um, But he was the second pick for the Pittsburgh Steelers in the NFL draft and all obstacles and challenges, of course, that he had to face. He's basis today, just running a regular business, but I'm not going to break up that story. I'm going to let him tell you about that. But in 2003, he founded the company called Chella. And he was an invited speaker on the subject of, uh, you know, keys to retail success because here he created this product line for professional uh, beauty and and consumer beauty. And he had to be able to kind of give these speech to the organizations. But since then, he's been able to expand his brand, expand his speaking opportunities and get his name out there associated with Chella. And uh, you're going to hear all about it today. So I know, Chris, one of the things that you really are very proud of is that Chella is a brand for women to help them to be confident, beautiful, and sexy. Well, yeah, Bonnie, thank you so much for the the warm introduction and and beyond thrilled to be able to be on your show. And congrats for all of your success. Uh, I look at you as a mentor and you've uh, done a tremendous job coaching me uh, you know, years ago, and it wasn't that many years ago, but years ago, enough that it was a couple of years ago. <laughs> it's been more and than it, a year. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it changed the, the course of our company in a really positive way. So first of all, thank you for that coaching and mentoring. It's been invaluable. Um, so I'm not sure about where to go with that question. Well, you know what, let's just look at it from the standpoint of, you know, you're, you're, pretty, you're pretty bold in saying you want women to feel confident, beautiful, and sexy. Yeah. For this, for the Chella brand. So it's, you know, your brand statement is less about, we want you to buy our product and have great looking brows, which that's where we're going to go here with this conversation is how you, uh, how you created this company based on one part of a female body here called eyebrows. 
Um, but I love that you say that you want women to be confident, beautiful, and sexy. And how you're doing that is through something so simple, and it's called browse. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you had talked a little bit in the beginning part of that question about having a message and having a point of view and having a story. And, and I'll confess the biggest mistake that I made for probably the first 10 years that I was in business is I didn't really fully understand the concept of a story and having it be relate, relatable because I didn't understand my own story. Mm -hmm. So when I came to understand my own story, then I could truly be authentic. I mean, we were tremendously successful without it. But with it, it's taken us again to a whole nother level. So, you know, to, to kind of get right into it, I grew up um, watching football with my dad. So how did I get into pro football? I was in the second grade. I'll never forget it. I was watching the LA Rams play and we watched the whole season together. And I kind of looked at my dad at one point in time during the season and said, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play pro football. And I set my intention in the second grade and said, that's what I'm going to do. So the next year I went out for football, Pop Warner, third grade, and you're still like old enough or young enough that you believe in reindeer and Santa and all that. So I put the uniform on and I was instantly transformed. I felt like Superman. I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm invincible. And that feeling has stuck with me my entire career, that kind of magical thinking about what you want to believe you can achieve. And it really is all starts with that seed of what is your belief system? So I boiled that back to it was a transformative event for me then some years later parents get divorced and i end up moving back and forth with my parents and they both got along i was very fortunate in terms of how the the, the divorce went but for a period of time i lived with my mom and she's working two jobs two kids small apartment and has nothing and i see her transform herself with her makeup with her dress with uh, her intelligence and 10 years later she was retired and never worked again because of how she transformed herself. And it was really you who helped me discover that inner story because I'll never forget the first coaching session we had when, when you said, well, why did you were trying to help me get to the story? Why did you found this company? Well, I you know, did investment banking and corporate finance and I did this analysis and I looked at these numbers and blah, blah, blah. And you go, that's really interesting, but that's not your story. Mm -hmm. You don't go from pro football to cosmetics because you know the numbers are there. There's more behind it. I'm going to help you uncover it. And I think we're about six months into coaching. And you said, I think, I think I figured out your story. Are you ready for it? And it was such a great epiphany because that's when I started to really understand the power of what Shella is about, what my current journey and path is, is I want, I don't care who it is, male or female, anybody who's using our products and our makeup to feel that transformation and that empowerment. And the beautiful part about that kind of transformation is that once you take that step, there's no going back. And then you realize with or without the makeup, you're still this beautiful, incredible, powerful person. So my uh, enjoyment and the foundation of what we want to do is empower and help people transform and reach that epiphany and go, wow, that really changed my life. And it's crazy. You ask a woman who's had terrible hair her whole, whole life. She gets that one haircut that makes her shine or makeup or lipstick or whatever. But there's going to be some event where you go, wow, this is great. So I'm in it for the wow moments and helping people transform because I saw what it did for, for myself. Yes. And, and your mother played a role in that. So, you know, take us back now. You, you wanted to grow up and be this football player and you did like, you really did get a chance to do this. Give us, give us a little bit more in that story. Well, you know, it, the, the parallel for football and life are, I think, very similar in this regard. Um, my bankers love the, the, that I gave them this analogy. In football, you're going to get knocked down on every play. And you just learn to get back up and start running again because you can't get anything done laying down. So business and life and football, they're all the same. They're going to knock you down. And you're not defined ever by the knockdowns, but how you get up and what you do next. Mm. So I've been knocked down plenty. And every time that that's happened, it's been an opportunity for me to learn and grow. And as long as you keep your heart and mind open to the fact that nobody's against you, nobody's trying to put you down, stuff happens. And it's how you respond to this stuff that defines, you know, what you're going to do. And just realize it doesn't matter if you got knocked down 20 times and you think you can't get up. You can always get up and you can always start again. And it's always a brand new day the next day. So keep getting up. So I think that was the lesson from football. Uh, lots of challenges amazing opportunity you know to walk into a locker room when i walked in in 1983 and they you know they just won their fourth super bowl in i think 1980 
Uh, there were like six Hall of Famers in, in the locker room, Terry Bradshaw, um, Jack Lambert, Donnie Shell. Uh, it was just incredible, the guys that were in there. And I'm kind of pinching myself going, I'm really in here. Yeah. So, yeah, it was, it was a blast. Oh, that's so cool. So that part of your career, you accomplished and you persevered through it. And you ended up kind of falling into a little bit more of the finance world at this point. Or was it real estate? Finance and real estate. It, it really kind of started off as real estate. And, and, you know, you talk about getting kind of knocked down my first year in the league. Uh, you know, I became a starting tight end. 11th game of the season, I ended up getting my kneecap shattered and two ligaments severed. And really, it was a career ending injury on one play, which at the time I, I looked at as and that's how every NFL player ends his career. It's with an injury. Mm -hmm. So I was thankful, not upset, thankful that I had the opportunity to make it and not have that career ending injury in high school or college. Like I saw a lot of my friends, you know, have that ending. So I was able to kind of complete that goal in that chapter. Sure, I would have loved for it to go on an extra five or 10 years, but frankly, with uh, the CTE and the, the, the damage that's being done by playing for 10 or 15 years, and I would have played for 10 or 15 years, um, is, is so profound that it turned out to be a blessing that I got hurt. And uh, my degree was in finance, but my passion at that time was real estate. So I did real estate development uh, out in California for 10 years and uh, building high-end homes out in Malibu. And then uh, the market collapsed. And you get knocked down again. And mm -hmm. fortunately, I had a, a finance degree to fall back in. So I started doing corporate finance and, uh, you know, uh, debt organizations and leverage buyouts and taking people public uh, for the, the sector of the market that was still working and did that for another 10 years, which I loved. But it, it, I think there was a seminal moment I, I heard. I love to always be learning and challenge myself in that regard. And I uh, was a member of a Delhi Chamber of Commerce or something like that. And I went to hear... Um, the CEO of North Face speak, and he was talking about the importance of building a brand that if you make great products and you deliver on the promise that you make, you will build a great brand and you can build it globally. And that was just about the time. This is probably, gosh, it was 20 years ago. And you have to work really hard to mess that up. Now you can do some stupid stuff real quick and mess it up, but as long as you don't make you know, a tabloid mistake, it's really hard to knock a brand down if you're listening to your customers and you're delivering on the promise. And that kind of just struck me as, wow, you know, I've been helping people build their dreams and, you know, I, I'd like to build a brand. And so I kind of took it as the next challenge in my life to, you know, found a company and that's how Cello was born. So how did this transition from real estate football to real estate to cosmetics? Well, I had the, I had the half step in there for 10 years of investment banking. So it was that process of helping people raise money, organizing their, their balance sheets and their P&Ls and their debt structures and putting together the right kind of financial because every company needs a different level of capital injection. It's not that complicated, but sometimes a company really needs debt. Sometimes a company really needs equity. Sometimes they need mezzanine, a combination of both. So those structures really help a company grow if the, if the capital structure is right. And you can really kill a company if the capital structure is wrong, you know, people take on junk bonds and too high interest rates and over lever the company. If things go a little bit sideways, you can find that, you know, being a snake that just consumes you and will take your company out. So trying to make sure that you were strategic about putting those capital structures together. And that was kind of the next step when I listened to this guy speak and I'm like, wow, this sounds like a great challenge. I need to go found a company and build a brand. So, <laughs> and it started out in cosmetics. Yes, to start out as anti-aging skincare, we started off with five products, and that was part of because I was just about to be a baby boomer, and and you know that was the most money in our ecosystem was baby boomers, and they were buying it on anti-aging mm -hmm. products and pills and ingestibles or potions and lotions, and there was some really cool technology about uh, peptides and certain act ingredients that actually acted as stimulants for the skin that would help uh, really repair wrinkles and restore wrinkles and build elastin and build collagen and, and penetrate the dermal matrix, which is kind of a, a gray area, but they were cosmetic ingredients and they really had great efficacy. And so we used that technology, you know, to launch a line that we had a lot of traction with. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun, but then brows became a thing. And I kind of saw that in 2007, you know, before anybody was really jumping on the bandwagon, um, we, we saw lashes and brows as a really big opportunity. And in 2011, we had a chance to save up enough money from what we were doing on the other 
side of the business to create the Cella Brown Eye Collection and start investing in Brown. So that was the launch of that was 2011, um, and it's just been a, a very fun ride since then. Oh, that, that's, that, that's really exciting. You know what I love hearing from you, uh, Chris, in regards to your brand is that you have an understanding of sales, you have an understanding of operations and finance, you have an understanding of marketing, and you are, you're willing to be educated you know, over and over again through those experiences of getting knocked down and getting right back up and everything. So in 2011, you kind of created this opportunity where it's like, I think women are going to need to understand eyebrows. <laughs> exactly. And there's a lot of truth to your, in, to your vision here because brows are really big right now. Very big deal. I, 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 no argument here. You're preaching to the choir. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you created a couple products that were able to kind of like help people define their brows. You created this marketing concept of, um, you know, how to brow in three easy steps. And really, I think, I think a lot of women understand I got to put lipstick on and I probably need to put a little blush on and I, I, I can wear mascara, but, but, Brows became this thing where it's like, you're not complete without them. For sure. And it's a very interesting thing you said about lipstick and, and makeup, because 20 years ago, if you'd asked the women across the country, what is the one thing that you have to have on your face or in your purse before you go out the door? They all would have said lipstick. And the answer today is brows. The an oh, absolutely. It is for me. It's yeah, like brows it's and lipstick. And you can that's, be so natural with that look and not overdone and not over made up and you know, we, we've seen this experience where we will, we'll get women. This happens every time we go into a training because we were in hundreds of accounts and we train hundreds of staff and we really love and own that. And I'm going to get back to how to brow in three easy steps in a second. But as part of our training, we'll find somebody with, you know, brows that need a little love and we'll ask them, Hey, you know, are you, are you open to, no, I, I don't use brows. I don't, I don't ever do anything with my makeup. I don't do anything with my brows. We just had this experience at a training a week ago. And Sarah was there and she does such an amazing job. And she said, let me just put a little brow, you know, uh, pencil on your brows just so you can see how you look with it. She did her brows and she's like, wow, I look younger. Mm. I look like 10 years younger. And so she called Sarah back two weeks later and she goes, I just want you to know, I cannot leave the house without putting my brows on. Complete, 100%. I'm never, I don't ever do it. It's been 20 years. I'm not going to do it too. I can't leave the house without it because that one little bit made such a transformation. So um, for those listening, Sarah uh, Siegel heads up our international sales team and she's also my significant other who does an amazing job supporting Chella and me. So back to how to brow in three easy steps. So that was really an epiphany about wanting to make it simple and easy and effective. And how could we communicate and teach? Because not only do we want to have great products, which we'll, we'll jump into later, but we want to be thought leaders professionally because tens of thousands of women are going getting their brows done at waxing or threading or grooming or whatever they're getting done. And most of those procedures do not come with a fill. They're grooming, but they're not filling in the brows. They're not finishing the look. So we want to teach professionals how to do that. And we also want to teach our customers how to do that. And it's the good news. It's really simple. So we broke it down really into three steps. The first step is we want to fill in the brow. So we pick the right color. We've got six colors, um, blonde, auburn, light brown, dark brown, ebony, and taupe. Taupe is about 70% of the women out there. So we fill in the brows. Then if you got crazy bushy brows like me, you got to use a brow gel. We have a clear brow gel to define them that's not crispy, doesn't crunch, doesn't flake, doesn't look glossy. It's perfectly natural looking. People love that just for that benefit. And then we highlight, a little highlighter here and highlight all the way under the brow. So mm -hmm. build a fine highlight, how to brow, three easy steps. And that's been the hallmark of, of our brand and what's resonated with customers. The other thing that's resonated with them is that they, because that's so simple and it's so natural looking, they actually uh, came back to us, our customers, and told us, hey, we need you to create something for the eyelids. We want you to come up with a natural eyeshadow palette. So this really is mum's the word to 50,000 people who are listening. Don't tell anybody, but we're launching a really incredible natural La Vie eyeshadow palette December 4th. Um, and that's going to uh, be global at that point. So we're very, very excited about it because now you're going to be able to create a complete cello look to go with our cello brow and eye collection. 
fill in the brows, the eyeshadow, the eyeliner, the mascara, lash curlers, all, all the- Good, well, hold on to all that. We're gonna talk yeah. about that in the second segment. You, you can't be giving it all away now. Okay. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, you know, one of the things, Chris, that I, that, I, that I love about how you shared that was how simple that was. And the truth is, is that a lot of women don't know or think about defining or adding to their brows. We're always thinking about, okay, we got to get them waxed or we got to clean them up and keep them in shape and everything. But, you know, uh, younger gals want to be more defined. Um, gals, as we are kind of aging a little bit, we actually kind of lose that, that brow definition. Um, you know, I, I've never a, had brows. A really important point, Bonnie. I mean, there's a, there's a, a biological imperative 45, 50, whenever pre-postmenopause starts, where on some women, the outside tail just literally starts falling off and it's not there. And yes. so that does aid you in terms of look and appearance in a quick it, way as yeah, they start to get sparse too. and gray. And you fill them out and it just, and you can lift it up with the way you design, you know, your shape. It makes you look younger. So it's Absolutely. super easy. Well, super my cool. brows are designed by Chella. So they look amazing, by they, the way. Yeah, I kind Young of pumped, I pumped them up a little bit for the show today. So for those, of you that are, for those of you that are watching on Facebook, obviously you can see my brows, but um, for those of you that are just listening on uh, our audio version here, you know, I definitely do not have a second half of the brow. So right at the middle of my eye and then out to, you know, my hairline is nothing, nada, zilch, zero. And um, I do have to build it in. And I use a combination of the, uh, the Chella pencil, there's a, the Chella gel, and then a little bit of powder just to kind of, you know, create a little bit more of that definition on there. And then at, at that point, I use the, you know, the, 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 what did you call it? The, the gel, in, the, to put it in place. What's that product? Oh, that, that's our defining eyebrow gel. Eyebrow gel. Okay. So the defining eyebrow gel, just to kind of keep it so it stays on. And then I use the highlighter pencil, a uh, little right here and a little below my brow to create that definition. I love that. That, that goes on the road with me everywhere. Like it's in my purse. There's one in my makeup bag and then there's always one in my purse because it can be um, used in multiple ways to just highlight the eyes and make them bounce again. So I get it. Um, Lovely. And then, you know, if you look in any beauty consumer magazine at this point as well, you know, every other page is now a brow product. Yeah, I think that starts with, with, with this little guy right here because everybody's taking a selfie and it all, uh -huh. hold the camera high. It's a, the first thing you see are the brows and yeah. people are responding to it. They want to make sure that their brows are on fleek and looking, looking all dialed in. Yeah, and you're right about the, um, you know, the taupe color that you said that that really is a, a good fit for the majority. Because one of the things that I've seen, um, you know, with women that are filling in their brows and the types of products that they're buying, if it's a if it's a pencil or a powder, it's a lot of times they 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 come on, uh, they go onto the skin warm. Right. And unless you have warm hair and you're auburn or you're a redhead, then you don't want them necessarily to be warm. You want them to be kind of a little bit more of an ash tone. So they're more complementary to your skin. And I know that the taupe color for me is fantastic. I use a combination of taupe and blonde at times. So that, that's a really good point, Bonnie. One of the things that we got to realize when we're doing our brows, just a little tip, is you always want your brows to be a shade lighter, if possible, than your hair. Because then your brows don't get into the room before you do. <laughs> and if they're too dark, then it's, you know, if it's a look you like, go for it, right? But for most people, I advise if you're just starting out to do your brows, they're going to be really sensitive to the color change and having them filled in. Even the definition of having them completely filled in, which does make you look younger, that can be shocking to people. So if you go a shade lighter, it's not as shocking for the, for the newbies. And so, you know, if you've got your style, go for it. We love that. But uh, the, the two things I would suggest is one, think about potentially being a little bit lighter at first. And then the two tones, your hair is never just one color. It's a combination of colors. And to keep that natural looking, we like to suggest, you know, we, we have this amazing uh, eyebrow cream that's water resistant that you can play racquetball in, go into a sauna, swim, take a shower. And if you don't scrub and put soap up here, they're going to be on when you come off the shower. That, oh. um, that's my replacement product that I actually have to get from you, Chris, because now that I'm spending a lot of time uh, down in the Caribbean and on the, uh, in the islands on, so on a boat, 
Um, I, I'm telling you though, because I, yeah. I don't want to wear a lot of makeup down there and it's, it's hot, yeah. it's humid. So I have, you know, a, a, a day lipstick, a light colored day lipstick that actually stays on all day. Brilliant. Um, and then I have that as my brow product to be able to keep my brows on and that's it. That's all I'm wearing. But I love it. I cannot go completely naked on my face. It is not okay. <laughs> so you, you, that, that's not true. But the two tones will help. So I like, a lot of times I like to put down a super lighter base with the cream and then highlight with maybe a taupe or a light brown or a dark brown. And all of a sudden you get this two-tone definition looks supernatural. So yeah, that's so for, great. Well, for any brow aficionados out there, just throw that tidbit out there. Oh yeah. No. And listen, you are, you're like the brow king here, you know? So um, I love that. I love that you can talk that passionately about uh, women's eyebrows. <laughs> Listen, yeah. we're going to go into a break here in just a couple of minutes. And I know that you guys stay with us because um, we have a special offer that we're going to share with you at the end of the show that you can take advantage of um, to be able to pick up some of these fabulous eye products. But when we come back from this uh, break, we're going to continue to talk with Chris about, you know, the building of the brand. You know, it's, it's, we all think that we're, you know, listen, oh, he's talking about brows. He must be successful with all his brow products, but no company is an overnight success. And as you kind of try to get to those next levels in an organization, um, there's always, there's, there's always some, some knockdowns that are going to happen. So he's going to give us a little bit more insight about what, uh, what he's learned in building his cosmetic company and how that can apply to you, no matter what type of business that you're in as well. And I want to let you guys also know that we've got some things coming up here for the future. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more of how to be able to kind of define your company brand, I have an, I have an online group coaching program that's launching on January 6th. It's called Brand Me, and it's a group coaching program. It's 10 people max. And what we do is we go through your brand and some brand strategy to be able to help you define that story um, help you to be able to see how your story plays a role in your brand, no matter what your brand is. And if you're interested in that, um, you can, uh, go to my website at, uh, I'm actually, I'm going to give you another link at the, at the thing. Cause I just changed it today and I don't have it in front of me. So I'll give you another link when we get back there. Plus we're going to be doing a live two day training, which was one of the ones that Chris took advantage of when we first met, he came to one of our uh, live two day trainings and uh, to be able to kind of hear a little bit more of what it's going to take to be able to have brand success. That's going to happen March 1st and 2nd here in Atlanta, and I'll have more information for you on that. And you can always find this information on my Facebook page at Bonnie Bonadeo Coach. So, okay, we're going to take a quick break. Chris, stay with me. We're going to be live on Facebook throughout this audio break. Um, and then for everybody on our audio channel, we'll be right back. Sounds good. Hey, everybody on Facebook watching. Thanks, you guys. I'm having a hard time. I'm going to have to look at my phone. So if I'm looking down, I'm just going to check in with you on my phone and see if you guys have any questions for Chris. Feel free to jump on to Facebook page. Bonnie at Bonnie Bonadeo Coach is where I'm at live right now. Um, and if you found me and you may have some questions, I'm going to try and pull it up here. so We can check it out and see what we got going on. Perfect. My guest today is Chris from Chella. Chris Kolajenski. Kolajenski. Kol <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to phonetically write it down. Let me do that right now, Chris. You got it. It's, uh, you're going to call a friend. So it's Kala Jess, J-E-S. And then you want to go skiing when you're in the Caribbean. Kala Jeski. Kala Jeski. Okay. That worked Perfect. out perfectly. Thank you Dr. for the Mush. phonetic definition there. Yeah. All right. I am on the page. Everything is really slow right now in my little world. My show airs at 5 p.m. on Eastern time. And I don't care what anybody says. At five o'clock, it seems like the internet just kind of like shuts down. Everybody comes home. They all Everybody comes on, home and they're, they're all the streaming. Yes. Yeah. So, all right, here we go. We're good. We're good. We've got some things going on. All right. Hey, you guys, thanks for showing up. Appreciate it. Well, uh, Aaron Rodriguez says, it is good. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, give us a holler now. Now, this is the first time I've gone onto this particular page. I usually go onto my friend page, but I decided to put it onto my business page. So we'll have to build, uh, continue to build that audience and keep things active on there. But I'll keep an eye on it as we kind of progress here and as we come back. 
get ready to come back. Here we go. Okay, thank you. Stimulating talk it gets those synapses in the brain firing really fast. All the time. The number one internet talk station where your opinion counts. VoiceAmerica.com. You are listening to Beautiful Brands Inside and Out with Bonnie Bonadeo. If you have a question or comment about our show, please send an email to Bonnie at BonnieBonadeo.com. That's Bonnie at BonnieBonadeo.com. Now back to Beautiful Brands Inside and Out. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. So how do you go from pro football player to a cosmetic mogul? Well, my guest, Chris Kolodzinski, is has shared that with us in the first uh, half of this. And we're going to be talking a little bit more about his company, a little bit more about his product, and how he is building a brand here. Uh, he's the CEO of Cella, and you know his whole brand goal is to help women find their confidence and to feel beautiful. And he started out doing that with skincare, but he really found this unique niche of being able to say, brows is an area of opportunity that you know many other cosmetic companies could listen. Because let's face it, uh, it's it's a competitive market out there when you're talking about cosmetics. But he saw he had a, he he saw the vision of being able to say, if we focus in on brows and we educate women how to be able to do their brows in three easy steps, and we build some phenomenal products to be able to support this brow part of their cosmetic regime, um, we're going to be able to have success and continue to grow and expand the brand. And that's exactly what he's doing. So Chris, welcome back to the show. Great to be back, Bonnie. And, and that's um, all, all that is a result of making a lot of mistakes and errors along the way and, and having to pivot and adjust. And I think that, that there, there are a couple of things that I'd like to share with the audience and you, as you know, um, everything that you plan never works and it never goes to plan. And as soon as you launch the plan, it breaks and you're immediately faced with pivots and choices. And it's how, again, you respond and take those learnings and listen to your customers and the audience and see what's resonating and working. Um, that, that's helped us you know, thrive and succeed. Um, we do have some unique strategies about, uh, in terms of how we try to compete in, in the space against you know, billion dollar companies because most of the brands out there are multi-billion dollar companies and we're far, far, far from that, but we aspire to be there. So you can't get there unless you think about being there. And that's, that's certainly a goal. Um, and to your point about focus, I, you know, the, the advice I would give is that when I first started with an anti-aging skincare, I was convinced that I could sell the brand to everybody because I just love, you know, what I do and I love selling. And it took me a long time to figure out that that message needed to be directed to one audience with a singular message. And that when you could focus and deliver that singular message that would resonate with that group of people, you can then build a company around that group of people. And then there are going to be people who aspire to come closer to that group. So I kind of give you an example. Our demographic is the 20 to 30 year old woman. Mm -hmm. And we found her through our partnerships with Ipsy, Birchbox, uh, BoxyCharm, hopefully soon FabFitFun, um, Birchbox UK, Aussie Box. We've done dozens of boxes and it's been an invaluable way for us to compete against the big boys. But the demographics of those boxes are the 20 to 30 year old. But what we found is that the 15 to 20 year olds aspire to be older and the 30 to 45 year olds aspire to be younger. And so if we have one message, one point of view, it's going to resonate with that one specific audience. And we do want to focus in and have that niche because if you look at the landscape of cosmetics and makeup, there's, I don't know, a thousand companies. How many of them are focused on how to brow in three easy steps? How many of them are focused just on brow and eye collects and nothing but this area? That's what we have to do to, to be successful, to succeed and to be heard. And it took me, you know, 16 years to figure that out. Maybe not so long. Yeah, ago. well, but but it's true. And, and it's not because we didn't know that 16 years ago. It was a different way of being in business 16 years ago. And because consumerism has quadrupled, you know, or 10 times now we're in this landscape that anybody can be an entrepreneur, anybody can create a product line, anybody can sell products on the internet. And now we're just in this more competitive marketplace. So you, you said it beautifully, you've narrowed it down and I like how you referenced it back to strategies to compete. Right. And that competition is not about trying to be all things to all people that competition is about what's one thing we can do really well to move the ball down the field 
Yeah. I and, got it. and moving, and I never talk about sports, I want you to know, sports or politics, but it's so. It sounds like you're a coach now. It's so relevant um, to what you're saying here. And it has to be a narrowing message. It has to be a refined and distinct opportunity of how you're going to be able to do that. And like you said, that, you know, creating the focus on the eyes um, as a starting point, you know, but it not being mascara or it not being just eyeshadows starting out and having it be brows, which really define the face is, was a beautiful way to start. We get, we get lucky with that one every now, every now and then. <laughs> I, hey, listen, I'll always go with luck on my side as well. There you no go. No doubt, right? That's always good. So, you know, when you talk about these strategies to be able to compete with that and you've, and you've refined, so everything in your organization and you, you started out small, right? You started out with a couple products and a couple people, right? Where are you at today, Chris? Give us a little, give us that, that vision of where you are presently. Sure. Um, we're in, well, we ship to every country out there uh, through our, our shipping platform. And we, we probably direct the consumer, you know, ship to 50 to 60 different countries a year in terms of buyers. Um, our, our major market is the U.S. Uh, we, we aspire and are an omni-channel strategy. And I think if, if you're not omni-channel today, you're not going to make it. Um, there's just too much competition. So you've got to be on Amazon. Amazon is not your enemy. It's your friend. Um, our, our revenues on Amazon are up tenfold, tenfold from, you know, uh, 30 months ago. So it's growing exponentially. Uh, and, you know, they, there's a reason he's the richest guy in the world. They have the best flywheel and the best business platform model out there. They're kind of the Apple of e-commerce. Apple has got this right. sticky environment where you have the phone and you got the earbuds and you got the earbuds, you got the, 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 the iPad, you got the laptop, everything is in this ecosystem with the music and the, the text and the messaging. And you can't, you can't break that system. You don't want to be out of it because you lose too much. Same with Amazon. You know, yeah, I'm an Amazon Prime member for life. And now they're opening Japan and Australia. And we're in the UK, Italy, Germany, Spain, England, France. We're in um, Canada. We'll soon be opening Mexico. So just being in their footprint in front of their traffic is incredible. Um, so we do that. Um, part of uh, also what we do from an omni-channel perspective is we also are direct to consumer through Chella.com. And we're refining that. And trying to give our customers reasons to, you know, stay connected to us at cello.com as opposed to go to Amazon. So that's a battle. We're fighting against each other. Right, in that but, regard. but that's the competitive market you have to be in as an organization. There's that direct to consumer opportunity that you want to do um, for the to. right reasons, but yeah. there's also that ease and operational excellence that's already in place with Amazon Right. right now. So the challenge is you have to match that internally if you want to compete on your own website. And ultimately, we want to compete on our own website because we want to own that relationship because we think we add more value on a personal level to your beauty routine than Amazon ever will. They're great for everything else. But for beauty, we want you coming back to us because we have certain tips and tricks and videos and specials. And we're going to launch a rewards program. We do all kinds of you know cool things to help it become more sticky so we can be more engaged with you guys and have a more direct conversation. And then we also are, are distributed professionally. Now we just launched with a, a, a tremendous company, uh, Greg Dawson and Associates. They've been distributors in the pro beauty space for 50 years and we're beyond thrilled to partner with them. That's a new partnership for us. When you talk about like, where's Chella going? Um, and then uh, we sell direct to about 250 uh, high-end spas and salons like Mario Tricoshi in Chicago. We're in some select Ritz Carlton's and Four Seasons and Gaylord's and also a lot of beautiful independent, you know, beauty stores. So yeah. um, we, we enjoy all of those relationships and then we're working super hard internationally. So we've got, you know, a lot of, there were, we just got back from Kong, Hong Kong. I was in Asia for a week at Cosmoprop Asia. Um, people that are following the Hong Kong, uh, you know, dilemma, it's, it's not good. My heart goes out to the people of Hong Kong who are beautiful and love the country and the culture. And uh, they're fighting a, a noble cause over there. So uh, anyways, I, I will put my flag in the ground supporting them. Mm -hmm. um, but what was amazing was, you know, we go there because we get to meet with the people from Singapore and from Vietnam and from Korea and from Japan and India. And so we, we are continuing to build those relationships and we'll soon be, you know, selling into those countries. So it's so fun to be able to you know create the strategy 
make the mistakes, make the adjustments, and then execute on it, and then have people from all over the world go, wow, you guys got this. I love it. You know, I want to play. How do I work with you? So that's that's kind of a big answer to a big question. But that's, that's kind no, of it was it was beautiful giving us that insight, you know, because there's there's so much that's going on sometimes in an organization. It's more than just selling a product. It's more than just developing a product. It's really, you know, uh, finding ways to be able to expand your brand, existing products out to new countries, out to new channels, um, and then new products that you can introduce to all of those uh, channels that exist right now. Sure, and you know, and, and by the way, none of that happens unless you have an amazing team. Mm. And I've been blessed to have an amazing team. You know, we have a whole group of people that are completely committed to that notion of empowerment and transformation, and it motivates them. Uh, and they're excited about it, and they see it happening. They 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 are in the field, and they see those results, and they feel those results, and they're just as excited to share them with me as I am to hear them. So hats off to an incredible, incredible team at Cello that makes really all this come alive because you know it's impossible. It's never possible with one guy. It's always about the team, which goes back to the whole football thing. We were The Steelers were never great because of one guy. Uh, they're great because everybody sacrificed to make it happen and work together as a team, and those are the organizations and the teams that are most successful are the ones that find a way to, to all pull together and work together. So I'd be completely remiss if we didn't, you know, touch on how important it is to, to manage and grow a team and, and find, you know, the right kind of people to be on your team that have the right energy that, you know, um, at our company, you got to be willing to work two or three jobs every day and yes. do whatever it takes because we're a small company and, and, you know, they, they have been brought up that way and they love it and it keeps it exciting and fresh. So, uh, yeah, that's an integral part. Well, and shout out to Sarah and Kayla, because I know that those are two people that have, have you know, made it, had, we've had an opportunity to work closely together and um, help you make that impact out there as yeah, well. Yeah, thank you. I'll pass that along. I love it. Yeah, yeah. They're, good. they're, do, they're doing, doing a great job. So, you know, we have to look at this part now of, you know, what's next, Chris? I mean, you're expanding into all these countries. You're, you're, you're really keeping that very that strategic brand focus of browse in place you've got some products i know you mentioned them in the first half but let's talk about these products now so there's the the pencils and the brow creams and the gel and the highlighter we know those are the those are the parts of the three steps to um you know how to how to brow in three steps what are some other products that you have in your cella brand here sure just going through to kind of fill out the line um on the eye side, we have eyeliner pens, four different colors, blue, black, purple, and brown. Uh, we got a wonderful vegan, uh, very organic um, mascara that is, is not meant to be buildable. It's just meant to, to give you a nice, clean look. And it's especially good for people that have irritation with their eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a heated eyelash curler that's fantastic, that does a great job, not crimping, but curling the mascara. So you apply the mascara first let it dry, and then you go in and roll and hold for about 10 seconds your curl into place with the heated eyelash curler. It acts like a little, you know, curling wand. Doesn't burn you, doesn't burn your skin. <laughs> no, it warms up the, the wax. Yeah. yeah. And then you, you, after you hold it for 10 seconds, you release, and then you've got this great curl all day. We have uh, anti-fatigue eye mask that, that's made out of medical-grade collagen. That's a medical-grade product that does a great job literally taking fragmented peptides, which are... Um, collagen based and because they're fragmented and freeze dry the actual penetrate into the dermal matrix and do some stimulation so all of our products are really about you know being incredibly active and effective and efficient if you go to amazon you'll see we have like a 4.8 out of 5 gold star rating yapo on our cello.com is 4.7 everywhere we go we got hundreds of thousands of reviews on ipsy that um, our average is over 4.3 and those are very discerning customers so Mm -hmm. uh, we start with the premise that we got to have amazing products that work. So that kind of fills out the eye. Then we have tool sets uh, with tweezers, razors, and scissors so that you can do the proper grooming once you do a brow map so that you can groom your, your, your brows. And then uh, to really kind of come up, and then we have cleanser. We have an amazing olive oil-based, lemonine-based, all-natural lush balm that goes on dry. And you clean oil with oil. You know, it's like if you've ever spilled oil on the driveway, you don't put water on it because it just beads up. You got to use another kind of oil-based solvent. So a great way, if you have super dry skin and you rub olive oil on it, 
you're going to hydrate your skin and clean it. If you have super oily skin and you rub olive oil on it, you're going to clean your skin and the excess oil, you know, comes off. So we have a little activator. You apply the product dry, rub it all in, and then you dampen a washcloth and then you rub it off. And it, it does an amazing job of gently removing your make makeup and hydrating and repairing your skin because olive oil is one of those essential uh, fats that just is so good for your skin um, and your skin loves it. And then we've got a, uh, an exfoliating scrub. Now, one of our goals was we wanted to be able to help women create a complete look. And it was out of a focus group study that we did to specifically hear from our customers. And we had five different focus groups of, you know, 10 women. We sat down for literally a 12 hour day, you know, five, two hour sessions and walked through our entire line. And it was really listening to our customer that is going to lead you to the next, our, our next discovery. We purposely had all of the eyeshadows super natural because we wanted to focus on the brows and have them tell us what they liked or didn't like about the brows and our process. Got a lot of great detail on that, which we've implemented. And then we asked them the question, what do we miss? What should we be paying attention to that, that we haven't talked or asked about, which is always such a great question. And all five focus groups came back unanimously and said, what is that eyeshadow? What is that palette? Tell me about that look, because I love that look. And the, you know, the comment was, we're driving in our car. We're not Instagram models. We don't have two hours to do this. We got two minutes in between stoplights. Yeah. So we love your brows because we can get it done. But yeah. we need an eyeshadow look that's like that. So they said, if you created a natural look, we would be all over it. And we, when we heard that from 90% of the women in a focus group study from five different groups, we said, we're going to listen to them. So we're launching this, this eyeshadow palette December 4th. Um, and did, did I tell you where we're launching it at? No, 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 no. Tell me now, because we've talked about that pre-show. Right. We're launching it at the Albright Collective, which is a, uh, a private women's only club restaurant. It's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a men's club for women. And Meg Whitman is a member. They've got some, just an incredible board and an incredible group of women. And they're all about transformation and empowerment and connectivity. And they loved our message and we certainly love their message. So we're, we're beyond uh, honored that they you know, decided that we could host our launch party uh, up on their roof uh, restaurant. So Very that's nice. going to be a, a big reveal and launch. And yeah. for anybody who's listening, if you start following us on Chella Beauty, so if you go to Instagram or Facebook and you type in Chella Beauty and you follow us, you're going to be getting uh, little messages about how you can sign up for the reveal and get a very, very special offer that's only going to be there. And the offer is not going to be distributed and shown until uh, December 27th. So you sign up now and then you'll get a special coupon code and a special link to be able to uh, purchase this fun offer. So it's kind of our way to tease it out and let everybody know, build some excitement uh, around that. Um, but th those messages are going out from now through the 27th. Every day there'll be another message and a chance for you to sign up for an email blast that will send you the coupon, the link and everything so that you can take a look and see if you're interested. And tell us how we do that again, Chris. We go onto Instagram. Yeah, go to Instagram and just look up Chella Beauty. And every day you'll see a post from us or there'll be something in our story where you can click on to sign up for the La Vie eyeshadow launch and our special offer that literally only people that are going to Instagram or Facebook or, or our, our existing people, customers, uh, are going to be able to see it. So Anybody that's on the website, they're not going to know about this offer until we launch it December 5th. But our, our VIP customers and our special Chella Bellas, we like to call them, they'll, they'll all have uh, inside scoop and access. Perfect. Well, I want to be a Chella Bella too. So I want to find out about this. So I am following you at this point. Love it. And, um, I'm excited. You've been a Chella Bella since the day I met you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's been, it's been fun being a Chella Bella, I swear. Uh, it's, Love that it. is. That is very, very true. Okay, so I, I love all the strategies that you shared. I, you know, one of the things that I really admire about you, Chris, is um, in talking about your company, there was no hesitation as to what products you're offering and why you are offering them. And then you manage to be able to still fit in who you're offering them to. And we say that that is probably one of the most important brand strategies to understand why you exist, which is, uh, has to do with you and your story and your team and their stories and why they want to be this contribution. And it goes to that part where you're talking about you want women to feel beautiful, sexy, and confident. Then there is who are you, who are you doing this for? 
and you narrowed that down beautifully. You said your age range is 20 to 30, but 15 to 20 want to look more mature and 30 to 45 want to look a little younger. So you really understand how you're capturing a very broad female audience uh, to be able to cater that to. And then when I asked you the question, what do you offer? You were, you just nailed it. You nailed it with being able to share all of those products that you're offering um, and that they all have a defined purpose, but you've stayed true to your brand message of brows and how to brow in three easy steps. Because once, like you said, you get them in, they want to know what else you have to offer. What else do you have to offer? And eyeshadows are next. So I'm very excited about this natural palette that's coming out next. Thank you, Bonnie. I, you know, you, you help so much with respect to the coaching and mentoring that I've received from you because we worked together for a year mm -hmm. and it's, I liken it to this as an analogy. Um, if they put you in a space shuttle and said, you got to launch this bad boy and there's 4,000 buttons to push, you got to know which ones to push and in what order. <laughs> yes. And I did not know that mm -hmm. for the first five years that I was in business, I was just pushing everything hoping something would give me some lift. And frankly, it was my first mentor, uh, a guy who was the VP of uh, operations for Lancome, John Lesniak, who taught me the keys to retail success, who showed me what the levers were you know, that really drove the business. And it changed my life. Yeah. And what, you know, what your coaching did was just take it to a whole nother level. That was one aspect. But then, you know, like you're saying, to be able to distill and get down, I like to call them the vital factors. There's a thousand factors but what are the vital factors? And you yeah. just articulated what the vital factors are and that those are the things you need to pay attention to. So and you are doing a great job of paying attention to it. Um, we have a special offer and uh, can you let everybody know? So there's, there's a way that they can get it. They can probably go to your website too, but you've put together a, a discount opportunity for people to buy some Chella products. Yeah, and I think uh, I think we gave you guys a banner. Did that get posted yep. up? Yeah, the banner is the banner is going to be on um, www.beautyinsideandoutshow.com, but it's also going to be on my website. So if you go to bonniebonadeo.com uh, forward slash free dash gifts, you'll be able to find that coupon and the link there. And there's a code that um, you're going to use to be able to get some uh, savings on Chella products. And, and what is that code, Bonnie? I want to say it's be uh, beauty 20. Beauty okay. 20. Yeah. Because what, what, if that's the code for anybody listening, if they just go to Chella.com and order when they go to the shopping cart, it'll ask you for the code. And if you put that code in, you can order right now and literally get that 20% that off site-wide, everything that we've got. And I think we, we left that up through the end of uh, December. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, through yeah, the end, end of the end year. Of December, so, so from now through the end of the year. For now through the end of the year. So, you know, you, these, could be, uh, these could be great Christmas gifts, uh, great holiday gifts, great Hanukkah gifts um, for all of your friends and family. I know my sister, it's like, I keep trying. She has no brows either. And um, I keep trying to get her in there, but she, it, for her, it, it's an awkward transition from not really having brow definition right. to like, oh my God, I have eyebrows type of thing. So she- that's where, the, that's where the light color comes in? Yes, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do it with the, with the light blonde. We're gonna yeah. start with the blonde pencil yeah. uh, and cream and just kind of work her way in there. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it. it for her as a gift. So thank you, Chris. You are uh, fabulous. I love what you're about. I love what you're doing, your brand. I love how you tell your story to connect you to your brand because most people would think, what does a football player have to do with an eyebrow cosmetic company? And uh, you, you have answered that question for us as well. So thanks for joining us today. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Is our time over? Yeah, yeah. So, how did it go so quick? I always have so much fun and learn so it, much from you. Thank you. It this always goes so fast. So I just want to let you guys know that we, you know, we're, we went from beauty inside and out to beautiful brands inside and out because one of the, one of the areas I really wanted to focus on was to be able to help, help companies define their brand and who they're selling to so that the time that they spend on this podcast and show with me has an evergreen, uh, opportunity for them to use it as a marketing tool. So I'm, I'm, I'm still beauty. I'm beauty all the way in, inside and out. Um, but we're talking a little bit more about the brands because I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there that are struggling to get a hold on their business and get it to that next level. And I want to, I want to help you like I've helped Chris to be able to do that. So I got that link while we were on break. 
um, to be able to share with you for an upcoming event that I'm doing on January 6th. And it's online. So you don't have to get on a plane or a train or get in an automobile. We're going to gather together online um, as a group to be able to do that. And you're going to go to howtobrandme.com. Howtobrandme.com. You'll put the www in front of that. And it'll get you there to be able to register for the January 6th. Uh, four week course on how to be able to brand yourself. So you guys take advantage of the Chella 20% offer. I'm going to make sure that all those links are working as soon as we get off this uh, show. And, uh, but definitely check out Chella products. I think you'll love them as much as I do. Thanks Chris for being with us. Thanks Bonnie. What a treat. Yep. And remember you guys to always be you and beauty. Okay. Good job. Thank you.